I'm Phil Wyman, and I've got a crazy idea. I don't have many of those. Okay, that was a lie. Last year I had a crazy idea too. Myself and five of my crazy friends went to Burning Man, and we built an art installation. And we plan on doing it again this year. Oh yeah. Last year's installation was called the Pillars of the Saints. We built three meditation pillars out in the desert, asked people to sit on top of them, listen for a voice, and when they heard one, write what they heard upon the walls, and thousands came to participate. It was pretty cool if I don't say so myself. Then in typical Burning Man fashion, we burned it to the ground when we were done. Woo! Look at that go! That's what we wanted! Even Jesus liked it. I'm really honored to, uh, to participate. Thank you very much for the, your gift. So this year I found more than five crazy people to join me. I found 15, or maybe more. So this is our video about Burning Man 2012 art installation. It's called Theophany. It's also a video about how much help we need to make it happen. So sit tight, we'll tell you about it. Shortly after Burning Man 2011, Chris Reese and I were standing around talking about the potential for the next Burning Man. And he mentioned that when he was a kid, he used to build theremins for fun. And that got me thinking. Our idea for this art project is based around the idea of a theremin. We wanted to build the world's largest. A uh, theremin is uh, an electronic instrument that you play not by touching it, but according to your distance from it. So you get this kind of sliding, continuous um, pitch. And you've probably heard it in horror movies and in uh, the Beach Boys song, Good Vibrations. I've got a Google app here, which actually simulates ones. You can kind of hear what they sound like. So if you imagine this, much, much bigger, reacting to your entire body at a greater distance. That's what we're trying to do. The theremin will be placed on a pole in the center of a 32-foot diameter wooden canvas yurt, and the walls will be made of 22 4 by 8 foot murals with themes of the success and failures of spiritual pursuit. Chants and ambient music will be playing, and the participant will feel a sense of personal dissonance while trying to play in tune with the music. And this is to illustrate that spiritual pursuit is a discipline, but even the imperfect attempt is both holy and fun. So I'm Hope, and um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the path that we're taking to find artists for our project this year. We've been finding artists from all over the United States to collaborate with us and create murals, two murals, of opposing sides depicting 11 different themes. All the themes um, are basically attempts to find God, and each artist is going to depict a positive and a negative side, or successful or an unsuccessful side of that theme. So ultimately there will be this tension between the two, the successful and the unsuccessful side of the attempt in pursuing the holy. One side will depict the successful and the other side will depict the unsuccessful side. A successful attempt through money, for example, would be showing generosity. An unsuccessful attempt through money would be withholding generosity. And then we find ourselves in a place like this, caught between our attempts, our successful attempts, and our unsuccessful attempts. The image is like we were talking about earlier. It becomes kind of holy. The process is holy, specifically making these shapes and colors together. It's very spiritual for me. And working with music, which is this amazing universal language. Here we go now. So what do you propose to do next? Um, I think uh, we should get an enclosure and put all of this stuff in the enclosure so you no longer have like these individual delicate electronic things that could easily uh, get shorted. Or... And then we can start to tweak the resistors to get the um, proximity de de detector to respond in the way that we want it to. Okay, so now it's, 
Right, so now it's responses. Oh, the Minimal. response is, you know, only a very small distance. I mean, that's less than a foot. And this, uh, I think the sensor was about a five foot sensor, if I, right. if I remember right. correctly. And that's just a matter of adjusting resistor values. This thing's cap capable of frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, so we can make some pretty wild sounds with it if we want to. We want to. Okay. <laughs> well, see, that's what I kept telling um, Chris. I think Chris just wanted a straight-ahead uh, sort of theremin-type thing, but I kept saying, you know, we start getting oscillators modulating other oscillators, we can get bell tones and stuff. Oh. Yeah. My task is to automate a series of lights that will light the art and also swirl around in an automated display of dazzlement. Here is the automation controller we're going to use for the project. This is an actual industrial automation system that I am going to adapt to use for the lights. This is a Mitsubishi programmable logic controller. This will run the light over the art. I also have a smaller Mitsubishi controller that I'd like to use for the lighting outside of the structure. This is what we're going to use for light. It's an LED based light bulb that uses very little current and is probably going to be robust enough to go through all the flashing it will take to do the big swirly show. And what you see here are some of the automation equipment that I've been using just to test the bulbs for current, for uh, whether they can take the flashing, the whole bit. <clears throat> I'm donating the controllers and a lot of this equipment. What we're going to need is funding for just the mundane stuff, the lights, some um, devices called snubbers to prevent uh, damage to the relays, and various other things. And I'm providing the programming as well. So I don't have more done, but this is where we are so far. And this is going to be 22 pretty flashy lights that are going to chase each other all over the tent. Hi, I'm Dennis, and I have designed a basic frame for the yurt that's going to house our art project this year. So here it is, the naked skeleton. This is a top view. You see a hole in the center which allows space for the theremin. Um, that's the door to get in and out. This is just an outline of what it'll look like, the profile view. Top view, again, uh, just an outline. All those lines arranged in a spirograph kind of pattern are actually ropes that are going to help hold the yurt together. And they're arranged in such a way to allow a hole in the center um, to allow for the thermon. You got to meet some of our Burning Man team. These people have invested time, resources, money, their skills into this project. And that's because most of us are Jesus followers and we believe in a gentle and wonderful revolution of God that can happen in the carnivals and the festivals of our world today. Last year we raised $5,000 for the Pillars of the Saints project. This year it's going to cost us a little more to make this project come to life. And we'd love to have your help. If you can give, become part of the revolution. God bless.